Hello everybody I wish you a warm welcome to Usitility. Today is special we are going to discover how to play Project Makeover on your PC. As you can see now you are able to watch it on screen. We will be able to effortlessly download and set up Project Makeover so that we can play this game on the Windows desktop or laptop using our gamer keyboard if we want to, mouse and big screen. Then without further ado, let's go buddies. First of all mates. To start we need to open our favorite web browser. We open the one we use by default. Let's go to this URL I have highlighted in green. Now, you are able to see on the PC screen. There is no need to type it, because I provided a link in the video description and as well in the first main comment. We arrived there on the internet site of Usitility, where we have a nice in-depth overview on the best way to download and install Project Makeover on PC. We browse down a little bit and press on the download game on PC button. After clicking on this link, we reach the site of BlueStacks, which the Android emulator that we are going to use to get access to this game project makeover on the PC. It is now obvious that we get a number of advantages of running that emulator. Then, we are ready to start downloading the project makeover by simply clicking on the button play on BlueStacks that you can see here in green. We then click on it and the download action takes no time at all. Voila! This is the download. It is a file to execute. The following step is to run the executable file. OK, so we have to click on the file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to make modifications to the system. We have said yes. I reduced the internet browser to find the installation software much better. The installer is quite simple. It contains two options. Install, and setup path. I will clarify what setup path actually does. We basically just simply click on it. And now we note that we end up with here the path where the emulator will be put in. If we desire to vary this folder we have got to click on the Browse button. And now we select another directory and set up the emulator precisely where we prefer. I will set it where it is. Then, I click on Back. So I simply click Install. Voila! The setup begins and it's going to proceed along with the download of these MB that happens to be shown on the screen. Once you save it on your hard disk, it could be more or less MB. The download rate could go at a higher speed or at a lower speed, subject to your connection and depending on the speed capacity of the emulator servers. Right away they're progressing superbly fast. The download is done, and so right now it continues with the installation part. The installation needs a little bit more or less time primarily based on the power of your computer or laptop. The more powerful it really is, the shorter the software setup time and or vice versa. If we put together the download and install stage it normally takes a very long time, so have patience. It has by now finished on my side. At this moment, the emulator happens to be started immediately. As you can observe, down here, there's a progress bar which will fill up when it gets to the ending. The emulator is started for the first time. The truth is the emulator was already started, here for the first time. Before we carry on, as you can see now, it has made two icons right here on the PC desktop. The BlueStacks and BlueStacks multi-instance. Note that the BlueStacks app icon is going to be the only one we are focused on. Anytime we choose to operate Project Makeover on the laptop or computer, we twice click that app icon and consequently use the emulator. The BlueStacks multi-instance icon has nothing to do with multiplayer or anything at all like that. Basically, it's a software icon that we will very likely never make use of. Why don't we perform the following step, which is actually a must, and which is to entry the Google Play Store. As you can observe the Google Play is started. Right here we must sign in. At this time as soon as we're right here, we must perform the next phase that is definitely imperative. So we simply click on, sign in. At this moment it shows, checking info. It could in some cases get stuck in, checking info, and so it does not proceed. If that's the case, you could attempt to connect to your account after a few hours and it may almost certainly be corrected. At this moment we're going to insert our email and password. The email has to be a Gmail email as well as its associated password. For example you could use the same email you are using at this moment in your own YouTube account so that I am going to submit my details and I'll revisit when I have completed it. That's all. Details typed in. Below is Google welcoming us and offering us their terms of service. We would say yes to them all by hitting, I agree. 
following, it make us possible to save to the Google Cloud. You might leave it selected and it will make a backup of your data on this device to Google Drive. I will not check it. You can utilize this feature if you like. We simply click on accept. Google Play Store is launched automatically and immediately. To install the app, we have to browse the emulator desktop for Android by simply clicking on this icon marked in green. Today that we are watching the desktop of this Android emulator, we see that we come with here the install app option. We then click on the button. Right here we have got the game app. Let's quickly click right here on the install button that I am just presenting now in green color. Therefore it will commence the software installation. At this time it will download on your desktop or laptop and install the game app. It typically takes quite some time or it might possibly be extremely fast. This all relies upon on our own connection to the web. It's as of now ended setting up. Back to the emulator desktop by pressing this particular option that I am showing in green to be able to start project makeover for the very first time. Let me simply click on that my games choice above. We're now on the emulator desktop and therefore we are going to click this fresh project makeover software icon that was created. This video game is started for the first time on your device. There we get it. I'm able to mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should discuss the volume level of this emulator. It is right here. We have the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume. This manner we do not depend on the windows volume to increase or decrease the audio of the emulator. As well as to take pleasure in the experience to the maximum, we should turn on the large monitor, for which we have two alternatives. That is actually the first one. We simply click on this software icon that I am designating in green color. Then the monitor is maximized, offering one border at the top, one at the right and the last one at the bottom. Assuming that we would like to run the app in full screen, we hit this application icon. And we'd at present be experiencing the game in 100% screen mode. To escape the complete screen functionality, press the F11 key. And we'd now end up being in normal display mode. At this moment I am choosing to demonstrate you the keys mapping which is really extremely useful. That step we will be capable to utilize the video game much more effortlessly. The first point is to click this software icon. It's now time to get the appropriate configurations. Let me leave the normal settings, though if you desire to modify it, you can also achieve it without having problem. As you can notice, the emulator is entirely in our own language. In certain cases it happens that your emulator is launched in the improper language, such as, in Mandarin. And therefore to place it in the proper language we go there to the cogwheel. Then there inside of various other settings, we mouse click on the, language, drop down. We can also go for the language we need. German, Chinese, and so on. Once the language is selected, we should save. The emulator will reboot, and also the game app, next time we use it, will as well be in the opted for language. At this point, there's another information that we need to take into account, and it's that we will receive a message from Google telling you that a completely new device has been linked to our Google account. It is going to ask us if we're the individuals who have associated with that device. Yup, we may not be troubled considering that the emulator is simulating an Google Android device. In order to find which smartphone or tablet is currently being emulated, we come right here, to the cogwheel and we simply click on it. And so we go here to the, model, choice. And there we see that the emulator is behaving like a Samsung mobile phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all folks, so much for that video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it especially that everyone thought it was informative. If so, offer it a great like, subscribe to the channel, and I will be happy to answer all your feedback, issues or suggestions, put them in the comment area down below. You could also leave a remark on my Twitch channel, I conduct live streams from time to time, you get it down below in the video description and in the initial pinned comment. Check out any of those training videos which are usually showing up on the screen and see you in the next videos. Bye.